Hey, it's Kim with Guide to the Good, and today we are doing an inside scoop with Marnie Parsons of Running the Goat Books and Broadsides in Torsco. Hi, welcome. Oh, great. thank you so much. It's lovely to have you out. Thank you for coming. Yeah, yep. it's great. It is really great to be here, and I want to talk about that a bit. But uh, first, I want to hear you talk about Running the Goat Books and Broadsides and where we are right now. So you're in the print shop in Tours Co. Oh. So Running the Goat is a small press and we started out as a letterpress printing operation and we still do some letterpress, not a lot, but a bit. And that was setting type by hand, every letter set by hand, every page went through the printing press by hand. And we work um, on vintage printing presses. So I have three old printing presses. The oldest is from the 1830s and the youngest is from the 1960s. So they're all, <laughs> sadly, even the 1960s one is vintage. <laughs> yeah. I like that. That is good. Um, That's good. And then, but I also sort of evolved and become a children's book publisher and I work with lots of wonderful illustrators and authors. Mm -hmm. Andy Jones, Tom Dog, Harris Cotter, Lori Duty, Dave Patton, Vesna yeah. Tomova. Um, I can't print these books because my printing presses just don't do this kind of color work, but we do uh, high quality productions of beautiful books for kids. Um, a lot of them, not all of them, but a lot of them with Newfoundland stories, things to really help celebrate the culture of Newfoundland and Atlantic Canada. Yeah. And then the press, uh, the print shop also carries lots of other books from other local publishers or just other books that I really love because I'm a book file <laughs> or bibliophile, I guess it's called. Yeah. And then I have prints and cards, some that I've made here and some from other local printmakers. So all of the cards and prints are original prints, not digital reproductions. And all of them are really fun and funky. And uh, yeah, and it's wonderful to have them here. It is wonderful to have them. It's wonderful to see them. Yeah. And the, the, they beg to be touched like that, that yeah. physicality of them. The handmade books are really tactile, and that's actually what got me into letterpress printing, was just the, the pleasure of thinking about a book as a physical thing. And so the papers yeah. are really fun and beautiful, and and um, even just the type is really fun to set and hold and sort of just get a sense of the history of how books and printing happened. And, and, um, and it's really, as I said, it's really fun to see the old presses in operation as well. And I'm always happy to show people how they work and talk a little bit about the different types of presses and the history of printing books. So... Awesome. So yeah. what? People can come to you to yeah. here. Yeah. And uh, we are in Tours Cove yeah. on Cove Road. On Cove Road. <laughs> yes. You yeah. know, beautiful. The big green building. Yeah. <laughs> uh, with a with a pointy yeah. roof. Yeah. All yeah. kinds of nice things. Yeah. Um, and come here. Okay. And yeah. when you're here yeah. in Tours Cove, yeah. this is an amazing place to yeah. uh, spend some time. Yeah. What other things would you encourage, especially this year, for yeah. come home? There's year? another wonderful craftsperson in Tours Cove, Jacqueline Humphreys of Hillside Fine Craft, and she has opened up a studio. She does beautiful jewelry making and sort of metalsmithing, so you can see her production and how she works. And she also carries lots of other wonderful local crafts as well. And she's got gorgeous gardens, which are really fabulous to see. Yeah. And then, of course, there's the East Coast Trail, and there's a beautiful, beautiful trail just from right outside like just minutes away from where I am yeah. and the old harbour you can go down the pier is falling in but oh. the view of the islands is still really beautiful you did miss it last week was sheep day um, oh every uh, summer local farmers bring the sheep down and take them by boat oh, out to right. one of the islands just off the coast yeah yeah, yeah. it's always my favorite day yeah um to watch the sheep go off to the islands for the summer right um, but there's just always something happening down you know sometimes you'll see otters down sometimes you'll see seals we're getting close to whale time, so there's always something happening down in the harbour as well. How cool is that? So those are, the that's the inside scoop on amazing things to do right here in Tours Cove. That's it. Uh, yep. Visiting uh, uh, Marnie at Running the Goat Books and Broadsides, uh, checking out Hillside Crafts. Yep. Looking at the waterfront. Yep, and doing the East Coast Trail, the, the cribbies, the, the famous, the famous, famous, famous little cribbies uh, houses, the little red house and the little white house are just minutes from here. And wow. I send a lot of people down. <laughs> give directions. A lot of people stop every year looking for the, where do we find the little houses, so. Amazing. Yeah. Great destination. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, we're looking forward to poking around a bit. Um, so there's me. Kim Todd, uh, Melissa Wong is behind the camera, uh, Marty Parsons are running the Goat Book and Broadsides, and we're Guide to the Good. Uh, you can find out more about running the Goat Books and Broadsides at um, their Guide to the Good profile on www.guidetothegood.ca. You can follow us on social, you can follow our YouTube uh, and Insta, all of those things. Um, so we want everyone to go local, be vocal, enjoy all these things. <laughs> yeah. Sounds great. Thank Thanks. you so much. Thanks so much.